nothing in really fancy right now since our designers are working on a game and not really on a game engine at the moment since we're developing both at the same time. So this might be not the best looking content we ever did. Um, I think it's called that one. We'll figure it out in a moment. And just the testing uh, to show every basic working component. Uh, I will then open a blend file and make something move, and make something do something. If the load times are a little higher right now. We did not do optimizing yet for, for the loading time. But what the engine is doing right now is directly lead, uh, loading every component from the blend file and interpret it so it can be used in the render and giving it the logic that you have. But also, for instance, um, we have some viewers in the scene that uses the uh, physics properties from the Blender game engine and it's just interpreting that and giving it logic so that if you push and uh, if you push a barrel or if you, if you push a cube that it just works like it should work in the Blender game engine. So this is a basic scene. And uh, if we walk in the park right here, um, there are a couple of the cubes here. I can just push the cubes and this got translated in exactly the same way it should work in the Blender game engine. You can also use the Blender game engine to, um, um, to do like basic things and test it within the Blender game engine. And the functionality should be the same within OpenKit. So this is actually quite basic. What what already was a game kit, but then in our own little scene. Uh, what I'm going to do now is show a little bit about any actors. I'm going to take one of those cubes and uh, move that cube to another location using one of our uh, mover actors. Uh, it's still in development, so it's at fault. So when you exit it, something quite common. Okay, so I'm going to open the. the This cube is called create a.002 and I want to, uh, to move it to another location. What we are doing at the moment is we go to the text editor. Um, oh yeah, we, we also got support for things like uh, material files already in the, in, the, in the over, which are currently used, and you can also apply stuff like GSL shader to all materials and link it to a to a to a texture or something for more than leather. But that's in the whole whole different story. We should make a simple call big. Let's get rid of this. Done in, I think, lender units per second at the moment. Yeah, exactly. 
because we want to use like the Blender units to give indication of how everything is going since it is already in Blender, so why it? So let's make it four. Um, let's give it. I think I need my cheat sheet for a moment. Two steps. <laughs> uh, yeah, one, one, one moment. Okay, I'm just going, going, going to copy the rest. So I can uh, put in distance and uh, distance of the other than unit, so let's make it eight. Uh, return one down, we can set if it returns F in the destination. Uh, how many returns we're doing acceleration, which is also uh the units per second. And if it respeeds, uh, resets the speed when it's done. Because if you don't uh, reset the speed, it will just count up since acceleration is uh, um, is uh, a plus modifier for the speed per second. And I definitely want to reset that. So I'm just saving this, and the only thing I need to do um, is open the scene again. The engine is doing right now, it is parsing the file and looking at the configs within. Um, it detects everything that's named config or, or has config in it. So you could also do like one configuration for a dozen of, uh, of, of objects, but you could also create a config for an object, whatever you want to do. And also, um, you can use this mover on everything that's within Blender, not only the. How is it over? Yeah, uh, we're using C++ for everything, so basically everything that is not configurable within Blender is C++. Uh, we did it because of yeah, the programmer compatibility and uh, also because... Uh, yeah, this is actually uh, created in GameKit. GameKit uses Bparse, I think, uh, to just import everything to Ogre, and we are using that to create our own text parser. So uh, you can read text files from within Blender and give it logic, whatever you want it to do. So I guess, uh, I think I need to run, because it already started moving. So, yeah, it's standing on the other side and we didn't stop move because I did not. Um, okay, maybe I need to make it move a little more. <laughs> Sorry about that. The light scene. Huh? Light scene. Oh yeah, I, I, I could use the live scene, that's, that's also a good idea. Um, the live scene already has like a working sample for this, um, which we are... Can you make the character to the background? I will show the scene in Blender. Yep. It was pretty, but it's all character. Um, no, it does not work, since the logic is created to be um, recognized by Ogre, and Ogre just gives it logic and whatever it wants. So, um, the only thing we could do in Blender Game Engine is just um, GNSL. We could, could um, create shaders and test it in the Game 